Now this is a nice applet created on GeoGebra by Heather Pierce. Haven't met her, but I found it on the internet. And what it does is it does permutations and combinations at the same time. So this is awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remember, first of all, if as I adjust the slider, that makes my allowed values for K, it also adjusts. And notice if I roll N down, what happens to my maximum value for K. So N always has to be the largest number we're working with because that's the number we have to choose from. So I'll go ahead and put in 9 and 5, which is one of the problems we worked with. Notice it uses K instead of R or X. K and R and X are the same thing for all of these problems. So here you see that the permutations is uh, 9 factorial over 9 minus 5 factorial or 15,120. Here the combinations are 126. So when order matters, there are more ways to arrange things than when order doesn't. Let's go ahead and do the poker hand problems. Oh, actually I can't because that's 52. But I did do a combination with 25 and K being 14. All right, that was when I was showing you scientific notation. And here you can see, because it actually shows more digits, you can actually see the entire number on this applet. And there should be 17 places. There's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17. So you can see that there, when we got that uh, exponent of 17 on 10, that made sense. Now an interesting thing, the combinations you can see are much lower. And here's the weird part about combinations. So let me say I put k at 1. I mean k is at 0. We pick nothing. There's only one way to pick nothing. Then we pick 1 and they look kind of the same, right? Then we pick 2 and the numbers start growing and they grow faster for permutations than they do for combinations, which makes sense because order matters for permutations but not combinations. But here's an interesting thing. When I get about halfway through, combinations is going to max out and now it's going to start going down again. Because when you say I'm going to have 25 and I pick 21, the equivalent to that is saying I have 25 and I'm not going to pick 4. How many different ways can I pick 4? So here you see 12,650. Let me change this to 4. And almost there. Oh my goodness, it's the same number. So combinations starts low and then peaks out towards the middle, right? And you can see 12 and 13 work the same way. Why? That it didn't change for 12 and 13 because I can either pick 12 things to keep or 12 things not to keep, and it works out the same way. Isn't that cool? So again, if you are looking for another source to calculate combinations and permutations and you don't have a calculator handy, as long as n is less than 25, this little applet will do it for you.